And the next one is about my house. It's called Three Trees. I had a rough time three years ago. I think it was, I think this last two years, sometimes you have these periods where the energy, I don't know, it was so bad. It was, it was bad feeling. Things were bad for me. And I, 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 I love my house. I mean, it has trees that I planted. Many uh, fruit trees, it has um, a peach tree, two orange trees, two fig trees, they have to set three, three lemon trees, you know, that I, oh, we planted, that we planted, and, and I love it, and the open windows, and, and I love that place. It's not a, a recent home, it's an older home, but I love it, I love it so very much, and I had a rough time, sometimes we have rough times, right? You don't think this is all pink. <laughs> Sometimes you have rough times, and uh, uh, being a musician is not easy. You know, it's not easy. You have to fight first your inner adventure. Are we doing something or not? Especially, I think that it is the duty of all musicians, all artists, to always go more, risk everything. Don't be comfortable. Do everything. Get everything that you've done. Go and then try other things. And I think this. So sometimes people don't accept that well. I don't know. I think we in, in these times we have a lot of references. Maybe it's more comfortable for us to ah oh, that thing is I've uh, heard it yes and so you know it's more comfortable. But I I have this urge all the time to do other things and with other people and other things and, and try and risk everything and, 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 and do as far go as far as I can with the voice, you know, as far as I can, because the voice is such a wonderful instrument now, we all have one, it's so wonderful, we can do so many things, we just open our mouth and we can say, I love you, oh, I detest you, oh, I would like to, oh, I protest, what is this going on with Mr. Trump, what's going on with this Bolsonaro in Brazil, <laughs> this is open mouth, right, and this is the time for us to protest, and this, all these things. to be in Europe, actually. My father is from Portugal, and my mother is from Mozambique, so I'm half of it, and see. Mm -hmm. And now I'm very proud about it. Before, when I was a kid, I was not proud at all. I was fat and my hair was, you know, <laughs> very fancy, like that. And at that time, in the 70s, you used, you know, hair like this, and, and my hair was not at all like that. <laughs> <laughs> they called me names. I was studying in an English school for three years, and and they called me names, but, but I, I managed this. I was, of course I suffered a little bullying, but I was never a victim because I punched them. <laughs> I was big, wasn't I? They were telling me I was big, so. Mm. Just get my bigness in your nose. <laughs> anyway, now, but then I became proud about it before I thought, oh God, I'm not white, I am not black, what am I? But now I find out that I am white and I am black and I am proud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to have found you all. You know, he gave us a different thing. I wanted to do the electronic stuff, and we have other thing with the trio that is even more fundamental, fundamentalistic with computers. And, and I'm so happy because I wanted to do this so much ever since I was the Joseph, you know, those two years, uh, in the beginning of the 2000s, and I was, I did not know how to do it. it. Maybe it was not the generation. I did not know what to do, how to do it, you know, and I tried, but he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.